Welcome to the Linux channel and today on Ubuntu 14.04 we're going to look at the options and the appearance of the system settings. There are a number of ways you can actually change the looks and feel of your Ubuntu distribution on your computer and it is in what we call appearance. All you have to do is go into your system settings, either on your launcher bar or on your, you can search for it also on the search on the upper left. Or you can also click the little icon in your menu bar at the top right and go into system settings. Once you are there, you will click appearance and you'll see the appearance of the settings. Now, the default, as you see here, this is really the default that I have. This is the true tried Ubuntu appearance as it is normally after install. You might want to change that. So first of all, the wallpaper, the background that you see. There are a number of wallpapers that you can actually use from the setup itself that are actually quite beautiful. There are many beautiful wallpapers as you see here. Simply click on them and it installs them automatically on your computer. So these are the default ones. If you want to have your own picture, then you can click the little plus sign below it. It brings you to your pictures folder, but you can go to wherever folder, whatever folder you want by clicking on the left side and clicking on a picture that you've downloaded to put online. Once you are, you have selected that picture actually, you click open and it will be immediately added to the wallpapers that you have and will be added as a wallpaper in your background. Another feature that is interesting is the uh, team. There are three teams in Ubuntu. There's the ambiance, which is the one, the very regular basic Ubuntu 14 look and feel. There's another one that's called Radiance. This one looks and feels more like an old Windows machine uh, in its look and appearance and the way that the bars and the menus are uh, highlighted in gray. And you've got eye contrast. If you've got some eye problems, if you have difficulty viewing um, your screen, you can use the eye contrast that really really makes things very very high contrast black on white uh, and you know the icons are uh, more visible in the, the the eye contrast black and white stuff some apps will react to this also and be more visible but not all of them they have to be programmed to use the eye contrast so this is another feature that you can use here I'll put it back to ambiance What's nice also is that you have immediate visibility of the option when you change it. Then there's the launcher icon size. This, the launcher is the bar that you have on your left side of your screen. By changing the icon size, you have more or less icons. Now, if you have very few icons, you might actually put this bar quite big to make it easy for you to access that uh, launcher bar. But when you have a lot of icons or if you want to put more icons by actually putting the launcher icon size smaller it gives you space where other apps can actually be added to the launcher which is also very interesting another setting that you can check is in the behavior of the settings um, in the behavior you have a auto hide feature for the launcher if you put it on the launcher automatically will remove itself when your mouse is not there and you have two types of settings top left corner which means that if you just go on the left it's not gonna work but if you go in the upper left corner it will actually work it actually should it worked twice as you've seen here ago so upper left corner is where you will get the launcher or just left side as you see here it seems to have a little problem with the upper left corner for some reason. So it might not be um, that good of an idea, but actually, you know, what I like about the fact that you put it in top left, top left corner, 
is that if you're using an app that you often have the mouse pointer going on the uh, left side of your screen, um, well, the launcher won't actually go on just because you went to the left side. Uh, you can enable workspaces. Workspaces is equivalent to uh, what Windows or Macs call um, more desktops. So I'll turn in, in the workspaces, you have like basically different des desktops environment programmed with what you like, which means it's, it's a little bit like having different computers in the same uh, session. And uh, you have show the menus for a window in the menu bar which is the default, or in the Windows title bar, if you prefer to have them in the Windows title bar. And finally, you can add a sh uh, desktop icon to the launcher, which I did because I often want to go to desktop from different apps, so it, it's easy to go through. And these are all the options that you get in appearance in the um, system settings for Ubuntu to customize the look and feel of your Ubuntu. Um, operating system. If you have any comments, questions, please feel free to ask. Maybe you have a feature of Ubuntu that you'd like us to talk about, or maybe an idea of a Linux video you'd like to see. Also, if you subscribe to our channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. We try to post videos every week, and uh, hopefully, you will come back and look at our different videos. We will be talking about all s versions of Linux all sorts of distributions so not just Ubuntu but uh, Linux in general so why not uh, join us and look at our videos thanks for watching